reaction times of athletes in their own sports. But we wanted to create a level playing field to give everybody the same test. It's the ultimate test of hand-eye coordination. Call it the tennis ball test. We're just gonna fire tennis balls at people and see how quickly they can react and catch it. This will give us a really good idea as to how coordinated people are and especially how good their hands are. We load up two tennis ball cannons and fire a total of 70 balls at each athlete from a distance of 20 feet. First up, 13-time All-Pro receiver, Jerry Rice. Oh, man, come on, it's unfair. Even for a future Hall of Famer, it's <laughs> not easy. Oh my God. They expect me to react to that? That's crazy. Jerry's not exaggerating. Flying at 40 miles per hour, the balls arrive in just 34 hundredths of a second. That's quicker than a 90 mile an hour major league fastball. And they're rocketing in two at a time. In our test of who has the best hand-eye coordination, some athletes catch on better than others. <laughs> Full back. <laughs> we block. In the end, we narrow it down to the final four. So we're going now? Okay. MLS goalkeeper Preston Burpo. NFL QB Josh McCown. All-pro wide receiver Chad Johnson. Come on, five. And NBA sharpshooter Jason Capono. For this round, we crank up the ball speed 10% to 44 miles per hour. Now the balls arrive in 31 hundredths of a second. Just focus on it and try to grab it. The hard part is grasping the catch. If you can focus on these, imagine catching the football on the field on Sundays. I'm taking this from the training camp. I like it. I mean, it took me a little bit of time to get used to it. Trying to get your reflexes going, your, uh, your peripheral vision going, where you try to look at it once and the other one's coming at the same time, and that's that's great for keepers where you're trying to see everything around you. It's Josh versus Jason. Ocho versus Burpo. And it's too close to call. Ooh, I like that. How'd I do? Best of anybody so far. Good. It's probably going to stay that way. In the end, it's close. But Chad gloves two more balls than Burpo to take the crown and leave his opponents empty-handed. I like that. Chad Johnson takes the crown. This episode of Sports Science. We tested Finley and Maggetti, Ole and Hillary, Jerry Rice and Chad Johnson, Luis Castillo and Big Ben Roethlisberger. All this science reminds us of the words of our old friend Sir Isaac Newton, who said, quote, don't blink, don't think. It takes way too long. That's how Sir Isaac rolls.